Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Quick Scopes. Today we have the Air Force One Lux in pecan, pearl white, pale ivory, pecan. Let me take this opportunity to ask you to like, leave your thoughts, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you don't miss the video. Ah yeah, purchase link for these and the black pair in the description. Stay tuned for the on foot. So yeah, let's start from the soles up. So we have that duck boot kind of outsole, increased traction, very nice. We have an off-white, very, very lightly off-white. I think that that's, that's that pearl white midsole, but it's an exaggerated mix of midsole, much thicker. You can see the Nike Air is in a different font and we got that pecan stitching. And then for the upper, so this upper, an interesting upper, made of different types of levers. If we take a look, going around the toe, we can see that sort of off-white, pearl-white color around the toe, very good. The leather does feel a little bit better than on the black pair. So around the toe and on the toe box, we've got the same kind of leather, very good. We've got a small little bee swoosh right here, stitched in in that pecan color. Going up the shoe now, around the ice day, we've got similar leather to the toe box. We've got very, very thin off-white laces. I don't like that, as you know, I need the thick laces. A nylon tongue, hmm, I would have preferred leather personally, but it is what it is. And then we've got the Nike on the tongue tab, a leather tongue tab, and the font is similar to the Air on the midsole. The laces have gold aglets, which I do like. If we go to the side of the shoe, you'll see that the mid panel is slightly different. The mid panel itself, the leather is a lighter color, and the double swoosh here is of a smooth grain leather. We come to the fox in, you'll see we've got that tumbled leather again, similar to the toe box and the ice day. And then around to the heel, we've got an embossed Nike swoosh on that heel tab and that smooth leather returns, which we see on the swoosh and the tongue tab. If we go to the sock liner, we'll see that pecan sock liner and insole and we've got the Nike Air and swoosh design which I do like, very, very nice. So, let me know what you think of this pair. For me, personally, if you saw the previous review, you will know that I am not impressed with this silhouette, but for this shoe, I would give it a five out of 10, just based on the colors alone and the fact that the materials feel a little bit better than on the previous pair, the black pair. The reasons why I dislike it, well, as I said before, the midsole, the outsole, the, the whole bulkiness of the shoe. I would say watch that review so you could sort of understand where I'm coming from. But yeah, this one's not as bad as that pair, but there's still a lot left to be desired, personally. But what do you think? Am I wrong? I don't mind being wrong, just let me know why. Don't just say, no, this is the best shoe ever and not say why. We're not arguing, we just want to know, you know, constructive criticism. <laughs> so personally, I'm not really a fan of this silhouette, as I said. Other alternatives are the Air Force One Acorn, I think. I think that one's quite a nice one. Um, the Retro came out. Check out the review, purchase links in the description. Oh, also the Air Force One Gore-Tex, that's another shoe that um, I do recommend over this personally. But let me know what you think. Stay tuned for the on foot. I've been Scopes, signing out. See ya!